guys, welcome to day two of The Reading Rush. This is actually future Mika filming this clip because I was re-watching my vlog, well the beginning of my vlog, and I just realized I made absolutely no sense whatsoever. So I'm here to explain it to you. So I woke up at around 4 p.m. to which then woke up in a panic because I realized that my whole day was gone. I then immediately ran to turn on the lights that I have in my room that are currently lighting my face. Then the next thing you know, I turned around for a split second, the lamp fell and shattered all around my room. It ended up breaking in half, so like the crack addict I am, I immediately turned on my camera looking like a homeless lady and continued to freak out about it, which I will not be showing you those clips because like I said, I look like a crack addict homeless lady. <laughs> but I will insert some clips of the lamp after I picked it up and like picked up all the pieces and like put them somewhere else. It was a wild start to my day to say the least. So I'm just warning you beforehand that the next clip I'm not wearing any makeup, therefore I look like trash <laughs> proceed with caution if you will and enjoy this messy ass vlog okay, so i've calmed down a little bit um and i've come up with somewhat of a plan of what i'm going to do in order to make up for literally what just happened oh my god Saul is facetiming me right now but like he needs to wait my plan today is actually i'm going to the movies at around six o'clock with my mom um and we're planning on seeing two different movies meaning i'm probably going to be at the movie theater for a good while so with that in mind i'm planning on listening to the chaos of standing still just to get this finished i want to get this finished by tonight i think I can manage to do that if I listen to it like non-stop. In the meantime, I'm going to be reading The Duff by Cody Keplinger. I started this last night actually and I got up to page 20. So I'll be able to read this hopefully today. That This probably means that my vlog won't be going up until pretty fucking late because I woke up at 4 p.m. It's just really irritating because now that means I can only read these two books today when I wanted to read so many and I wanted to get an early start to my day but that's what you get when you go to sleep at 6 a.m. So I'll be listening to The Chaos of Standing Still while I do my makeup and while I get all not looking like this. And for The Duff, I'm planning on also using this as the book that I read in the same spot the entire time, meaning I can't read this anywhere but my bed. So while I'm waiting for my mom to come home, I will be fucking reading the shit out of this. And I feel like it won't be as hard because I did already read this. Like this is just a reread. I've read this book so many times and I love it. So yeah. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> oh hi, follow me, JK no. <laughs> Yeah, these are the two books that I'm going to try to read today. Mm, I just don't see it happening now. I'm definitely going to be listening to The Chaos of Standing Still like as much as I can and probably like on 2.5 speed. And then for The Duff, since I'm going to be reading in the same spot, I kind of have to read it here. So I don't really have a choice. I can't read it when I go to the movies with my mom. So yeah, now I have to make do with my broken ass lamp and the fact that I woke up so late. Like it, if this doesn't explain what a mess I am, I don't know what will. Like why are you guys here? Like why do you subscribe to me? I don't know. But anyways, I'll see you guys in a second when I'm like less ugly, so. Bye. Okay guys, so I just finished doing my makeup. As you can tell, I look a little less ugly than I did before. And I was listening to The Chaos of Standing Still while I did my makeup and I got up to page, give me a second. I got up to page 218, um, meaning I am like officially halfway done with this book. So I think I can definitely finish this today. I will be listening to this in the car. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this today. I have very very high hopes for it. So yeah, I'm gonna finish listening to this chapter. I think it's chapter 11. So as soon as I get to chapter 12, I'm gonna take a break from this and I'm going to chill for a little bit and read The Duff on my bed since that is the book that I'm going to be watching the movie adaptation for and the book that I'm going to be reading in the same place the entire time. The original book that I was going to read in the same place the entire time was actually Ferris by Marissa Meyer but while I was editing my vlog yesterday I realized that I listened to this book in the car when I was going to go get food with my mom so it doesn't even count anymore like I can't use this for that prompt so I'm going to use this for a book about a non-human main character. 
so I, that works. Which reminds me, I need to start Grim Lovelies. Also, I need to change out of my pajamas because your girl has to go somewhere very soon. So last night when I started the duff, I'm going to insert a clip right here, but I was on FaceTime with Brittany and we had like a cute little reading party or whatever because we knew that like if we hung up, we probably weren't gonna read, but if we were on FaceTime together and we just decided to read, like it would work. So that's what we did for a while. We just read and we chatted. So yeah, it was really cute. That's when I managed to get about 20 pages into this. I'm just really, really hoping I can finish this today, before tonight, hopefully. I don't know what time I'm gonna get back from the movies. I just like, it stresses me out thinking about it, but I know that for a fact, I'll be able to finish at least at least the chaos of standing still like i'm not ending this vlog until this book is finished okay so right now i'm going to respond to some comments from yesterday's vlog while i do that i will be listening to the chaos of standing still so hopefully i will get that done and then i'm going to start editing my video i'm really upset because i wanted to paint my nails today because they look atrocious but i just i don't have time so i'll do that later tonight <laughs> Okay guys, so basically my plan right now is to do the video challenge because I haven't done it yet and I almost forgot that there was even a video challenge. I think Robbie is the one who did the video challenge today, so I'm really excited. So let's see what it is. So I'm calling my challenge Two Truths and a Big Little Lie because Big Little Lies, amazing, amazing, amazing book. And the show's on right now, so I was feeling a little inspired. The show's amazing too, just, just saying. So I felt like it would be fun to do two truths and a lie, because you can just never go wrong with two truths and a lie. Fun concept. And I think it's great because then you'll be like making friends, because people will be commenting on your video to guess your lie, and I just, I don't know, you're meeting new people, making new friends, right? That's what it's all about. So I'm gonna say that you can do two truths and a lie however you want, not super, super strict. For instance, you could say you read all the books in a series, you've met a certain author in person, and you have every like limited edition version of a particular title, and like one of those could be a lie. So they could just be bookish things, or you could do what I'm gonna do. My two truths and a lie are about books. Also, I actually love, love Robbie's challenge. So I'm gonna do two truth and a lie bookish edition. So that's gonna be fun. Let's get started. So the first one is, I read Twilight when I was eight years old. The second one is, Air of Fire is my favorite Sarah J Maas book in the Throne of Glass series. And the last one is, one of my all time favorite books is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Which one am I fucking lying about? I wanna know what you guys think. Let's see if you know me, the real me. I mean, I feel like my friends will be able to get that. Like, it, like come on. Yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Okay guys, so my mom just told me that she's here, meaning I need to go to the movies now. But I cannot wait because I'm gonna go see Spider-Man if I didn't mention that before. And I just cannot wait to see Tom Holland's face on that screen. His be- uh, uh. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna put away these books that I just, you know, used for the two truths and a lie. And then I'm going to go to the movies and see Tom Holland and hopefully get Shake Shack and like food because I'm fucking hungry as hell. In the meantime, I'm going to hopefully pick up this book. I just don't feel like reading this currently, but I did get a little bit farther. Now I'm way more than like halfway through with it. So that's good. I have high hopes to finish that before tonight. I convinced my mom to only see one movie because two movies, it just would have taken up too much time and we are running low on time. <laughs> that's my update for now. And I will see you guys in the next clip. up the vlog now mostly because i'm tired like i just today's been a long ass day um i just got back from the movies with my mom we went to go see spider-man and literally tom holland is just he can get it i love him so much zendaya is so lucky like not only did she get to kiss zach efron in the greatest showman but she also gets to kiss tom holland like 
make that make sense. <laughs> I actually didn't manage to get through any of the duff today which is really upsetting because I love this book but I just haven't been like home to sit in my bed and read this so I will definitely be picking this up tomorrow for sure hopefully also finishing this tomorrow and then I was able to read a little bit more of the chaos of standing still while I was doing my makeup earlier. I'm not sure how many pages I've read today so I'm gonna go do that math and then come back to you guys. So I did the math and I did not I'm like upset with myself. I did not read as many pages as I hoped to today. I only read 60 pages compared to the fact that I read 400 pages yesterday. Compared to the fact that, oh my god, mom. Compared to the fact that I read 400 pages yesterday, 60 is like nothing. And it honestly feels like I didn't read anything because I got a late start to my day and then I went to the movies and that movie was two hours and like 30 minutes long. So yeah. Um, Reading Rush Day 2 was a fail, but Reading Rush Day 3, I'm coming for my crown and my badge is just wait. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are all having an amazing Reading Rush and I will see you in my next vlog. East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath, uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla, too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt, girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her, Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest, all night long, she putting me to the test, got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest.